Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art, and today we are going to roll a landscape. So you are going to get one of these papers, um, and we're going to reuse these, so please don't write on them. Um, and then you are going to get a blank piece of drawing paper, and you're going to get a foam dice. So how this works is you are going to take six different turns and roll the dice, and that will tell you what to draw. So on your first turn, you are going to be drawing something in the air or the sky. So I'm going to roll my dice. Well, before I do that, let's talk about your paper. This is a landscape, and landscape means my paper usually is going to be long. This is actually called landscape. So I'm going to write my name lightly on the back in pencil and my grade. So whatever grade, also put that and then turn it over. You can draw it up and down. We call this portrait, or you can draw it side to side landscape, and that's how I'm going to do it today. So in my first turn, I am going to look at that first row for the air and sky. I'm going to roll my dice, and it says three. So my background is going to be dark with stars. So I'm just going to sketch it in first, and then I'm going to come back with um, marker, crayons, or color pencil. So I'm going to just go ahead and sketch some areas where I'm going to keep the stars light up in the sky. And then I will color around that when I'm done. My second turn, I'm going to roll the dice again. And I got a four this time, so I look in the four row, and it says I need to draw the mountains and then the rolling hills under it. So I'm going to do mountains. And then the rolling hills under it. Okay. My third turn, I'm going to do the foreground. It's the very bottom. I got five pretty squiggly. That'll be my greenest grass right there. And then I'm going to do my trees on my fourth turn. I roll my dice again. I got, oh, I got a cactus. All right, I think I will put him right here. And you can do more than one of those if you want to. I can't see what I'm doing. Let me do another one. Now remember, as things go back, they're going to get smaller. So if I want another cactus, but I want him up here, I'm going to do him much smaller because he's going to get smaller as things go back. All right, then I'm, on my fifth turn, I'm going to do flowers. I rolled a two, so I get to put a rose. I think I'm going to put that way down at the bottom in the foreground. It looks like it's got two leaves, and then it goes up, loops around, swirl. Maybe I want to put one of those over here, too. Two leaves, up, swirl, and then my last one are my extras. So I'm going to roll. I got a five, so I'm going to draw this car, and I would probably put him, um, you know, not up in the sky, unless maybe I, if I got the rocket ship, I'd put that up in the sky or the spaceship, um, but you can decide where. Just think about size. If it's going to be back here, it's going to be small. If it's going to be down here, it's going to be much bigger than... Uh, my roses and then when you're done getting everything sketched in you can go ahead and add your color You can decide if you'd like to use crayons markers or color pencils for this um, And then remember we're going to turn in these two things um, To the teacher and turn this into the tray when you're all done. All right guys I can't wait to see what you create 